Welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing one of the newest offerings from Nikkor, the MT-1A Pro. This is a dual fuel flashlight that can produce up to 800 lumens with the supplied lithium ion battery, but can also run on a single AA battery producing up to 200 lumens. The MT-1A Pro utilizes a Night Lab UHI-25 LED and it is one of the first flashlights, I'm sorry, it is the first flashlight to be running this LED. On the 800 lumen high, it has a throw of 250 meters, and this is a lovely, super simple flashlight that offer, also offers a two-way pocket clip, allowing it to be utilized in a multitude of ways, such as a head uh, headlamp, you know, the old uh, baseball cap trick. One of those other ways, though, which was new to me that I saw in Nikkor's video unveiling this flashlight, was utilizing your watch band for a hands-free operation. Pretty, pretty clever. At the time of recording, this flashlight will run you $41.95, and as always, I'll include links to purchase in the description below. Included in the box with the light, you get the lithium ion cell, two-way pocket clip as mentioned previously, a lanyard, charging cable, and a uh, spare o-ring. The MT-1A Pro weighs in at 52 grams, including battery. It also features an IP68 ingress protection rating against water and dust, along with a 2-meter submersion rating and 2-meter impact resistance rating. Providing a strong, reliable flashlight and a very compact package. Measuring in only at six or 3.66 inches long and 0.78 inches at its widest point. The MT-1A Pro also features a recessed tail cap, allowing it to tail scan with relative ease. And it also protects the tail cap from accidentally getting bumped. Um, there's also some very cool looking machining in the middle of this flashlight. And with the included 1100 milliamp hour 1500 or 14500 cell, it can run up to 10 hours on the 50 lumen low mode. I'll throw up the two ANSI sheets so you could pause and take a look at all the different power levels for each type of battery. The MT stands for multitask and is described as a must have for beginners. This is a great all around flashlight for enthusiasts and newcomers alike though. However, it does have it does not have a high CRI LED option and the UHI 25 LED is described as white light on the Nightcore website. My Opal says that it measured the output color temperature around 5400 on low to around 5500 Kelvin on high. It also appears to have a rather clean output that maybe has a bit of green tint to it on low. Uh, this flashlight does not offer a strobe mode. So as long as strobe and high CRI and a particular color temperature aren't deal breakers for you, I would say this may be the perfect flashlight for you. At the moment, there are no other versions or colorways, but who knows what the future might bring. Operation of the MT-1A Pro could not be simpler. Press the tail cap to completely to turn the flashlight on and then half press to cycle through low, medium, and high output modes. This light also has a memory function that automatically returns the light to the last use setting when you turn it back on. That's it. Beyond its simple operation, it is incredibly ergonomic, at least in my opinion. I do have, you know, huge ham hands. Uh, the ergonomics paired with the ease of operation though makes this as easy to use as basically breathing. Um, so here we are again at the ultimate question of whether or not I would buy this light again. And while I can say that I wouldn't purchase this light for my personal collection, I would say this is a great gift for anyone and everyone, whether you intend to use it for walking the dog at night, you're an outdoor enthusiast, or if you're just looking to add a flashlight to your home kit for emergencies, like the recent storms that have happened, the MT-1A Pro will check all of the boxes with ease. Till the next time, thanks for watching. Carry on.